only show you how you can find winning designs to upload to merch by Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, or any other print-on-demand platform that you may be using. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video of Millionaire Mindset. My name is Sam and I provide value for you guys to help you grow personally and financially. Today we're switching things up a bit. We're jumping in my computer and I'm going to show you guys the exact methods I use to find winning print-on-demand uh, t-shirt designs. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the main platform I use is Merch Informer. So just go to merchinformer.com and I'm going to be looking at this. 12,000 plus career and hobby list. So if you guys can't find something here, uh, I'm not sure where else you're gonna be able to find anything because this is just kind of a master list of pretty much all these hobbies, all these different uh, jobs that people have. So you can really find some untapped niches in here. So let's start off with just scrolling through and see what we find. And we're gonna use the other part of Merchant Former to find winning designs. So let's try wood carving. You see wood carving right here, that sounds interesting. So what I do from there, so I go to merchantformer.com and I would put in wood carving. Now this may not be the best niche, but it's you kinda just gotta go through the ropes. I'm showing you what I do. And we're just gonna see where it takes us. So this will bring us to amazon.com and it's gonna pull up all the different merch t-shirts that are already available in this specific niche. After we're here, we're gonna use another plugin. Basically what this plugin does, as you'll see in a second, is that it will bring up the best selling rank for all these different shirts. And here it goes. So what we're looking for now, is we're looking for ranks that are under 500,000, ideally under 300,000. It's a little slow. So as you can see, these are quite high. This may not be the best niche to get into. But, We'll still take a quick peek on the second page. 8 million, 11 million, nothing that I really want to tap into. The reason that we use um, designs that are under 500,000 BSR is because you know those designs are selling at least once a day, sometimes more than that. The lower the number, the more often it's gonna be selling. So, and yeah, we're gonna scratch that. All that's in 11 million, but we'll find something. Stick around and we'll find you guys a winning niche. Obviously, I like to choose niches that are a little more specific, so I try to get into what is called a micro niche. So if we're talking about hiking, maybe I'll do grandma's hiking, just because hiking is so general and I feel like the riches are in the niches. I'm not gonna do grandma climbing because I'm not sure how good that's gonna be for this example. But we can try, let's try scuba diving daughter. Since everybody's doing scuba diving, we're going to try to differentiate a little bit and we're going to try to go into the micro niche of scuba diving daughter. You can see there's only 97 results, so you know this niche is relatively untapped. And as you can see, there's really not too many designs that are aimed at people who have a scuba diving daughter or who are a scuba diving daughter. But you guys are going to see exactly what I go through to find a winning design. This isn't work at work going to something more general. Either way, I mean, you don't have to use a design that's 500,000 or below, but I just find, feel a little more confident in doing that. And let's just take one for example that we like. So this is close. So what I'm gonna do from here, I'm not gonna copy this design exactly because that's just not fair to the artist and I don't feel confident doing that. I kind of feel like a scummy person for doing that. So I'm gonna say that, hmm, this is a scuba diving shirt, but there's really no graphics that are involved scuba diving. I'm not sure how I like this, like other grandma's font. So what I would do, since I don't actually design these myself, is I would take this, copy the link, go down to my master list where I have all my designs, and go to the bottom here. Or if you, let's pretend this is a fresh list, fresh page. I will copy the link for my uh, VA, my virtual assistant, to check out. And then I would go into the next column. Usually I have this a little more spread out. It's a cool scuba diving shirt. So let's see if we can spread this out a bit. So I'll go into here and I would say, can you please add a scuba diving picture and improve D 
the font. So now my designer knows that I, what I'm looking to do is improve this design. So I'd have to say improve the like other grandma's font. So they know, she knows exactly what I'm looking for and therefore I don't have to have her go back and redo it. And in about two or three days, she's gonna go into the C section and she is going to C section. <laughs> she's gonna go into this section and she's gonna put the link to the Dropbox file. And from there I have the file. It's my file now. And I can go to merge by Amazon with the improved design of a design that's already selling well. And I know that since that design is selling well there's a good chance that other people are going to like my design since I made it a little better. So that's one way that I find designs. Another way that I find designs is just using random word generator. So you can just go to randomwordgenerator.com. I usually do about 10 words, syllables, word length. You can even do maybe some word length. We'll just do some syllables and we'll generate some random words and see if there's any that we think are maybe good for some t-shirt designs. So presidential shirts would be a good one, but I'm not going to do that one. Let's see. Royalty. We're not getting into anything crazy. Sometimes I just play around with it for a bit. And you never know. A cat shirt. If you can find a micro niche of cat shirt, that'd be good. Just to give you guys some ideas. Sandwich. Let's see if we can find one that I actually feel might be decent. How about Safari? I like Safari. It sounds interesting. So I'll go back to Merchant Forma. We'll throw in Safari. And if you want, you could try to find a micro niche like Family Safari. But for this example, we'll just do general. So maybe we can find some shirts under 500,000. So there's 469 results. So you know that it's kind of a more popular niche, but at the same time, there's definitely some room to enter in here. If you guys see that when you enter in a keyword and there's 4,000 plus results, you know that it's going to be pretty hard for you to stand out. It's going to be pretty hard for you to differentiate. And you might want to look into going into a more specific niche, even if it's that same keyword, but maybe you're trying to find, you know, a five-year-old safari shirt or like something more specific like that. So right away you can see that this shirt is selling pretty well, 129,000. I know I did hear that merch, or that Amazon updates these bestseller ranks quite often, so I'm actually not 100% sure how accurate these are. But this is still nonetheless a great way. I find some success here. Right now I'm just kind of testing the market myself, and I am trying to find maybe one niche in specific that I will dial into more and I'll scale up. One that's kind of doesn't have a lot of competition but there's still some demand there. So that's kind of my end goal with merch is to build a, a brand maybe on Instagram or a Shopify store that is all catered to one specific audience. But for the moment I'm kind of just testing the waters of all kinds of niches. So I recommend you do that and maybe take that route as well once you find something. I found that a lot of people make good money um, just scaling something that they already know. So if you already have an idea of something that you're passionate about, then maybe you can do that. So we can see right away, there's a few things. Let's see what's up here. 300,000, a dabbing fox. That's a little played out at the moment, but you know, if you want to do dabbing fox, go ahead. You might have some success with it. So right here you can see that there's really nothing too unique about this design and yet it has a pretty good rank. It's catered towards, let's see, animal lovers, safari shirt. So yeah, this is more of a youth shirt, but at the same time you can see that design is really plain and yet they're still selling probably two or three of these a day, maybe more. Can never be 100% sure, that's just my guess. So I would think that we could really add some color to this design and it would do well. So I would take this link, copy it again, come back over to my master list. So we would paste it in here. Hmm. 
I would say, can you add, I would say, color, colored animals in the word Africa. So that way my graphic designer knows that I'm looking for a similar, a design similar to this, but not the same one, and it's going to have colored animals, so it's going to be, you know, an actual elephant, not just kind of like that shadow, an actual giraffe, and then it's going to have Africa, because I think we saw that there was a shirt, the top selling shirt, was this kind of one, kind of like that, where it just said Africa, and it was kind of like a sunset, and a safari shirt. Kind of like this, kind of, it doesn't really have all those animals, but it is a safari shirt with the Africa, so I'd probably have Africa written underneath. And let's do one more example for you guys. Um, we can actually go to another website. Let's try finding some t-shirts that we like on Pinterest. Reddit is also a good one though, to find trends. But on Pinterest, I feel like not many people are looking on Pinterest. So you can maybe find some t-shirts that most people aren't finding if you can dive into another micro niche. So let's see what do we got here for some random words. Remember you can always use this, but random words, you're going to find some different um, phrases that nobody else is finding since these are all random and nobody, everybody might be looking at this list, but then again there's 12,000 things to choose from. So. Not too likely that someone's going to be finding the same t-shirt or niche as you. Especially if you choose a micro niche. I know I'm emphasizing that a lot, but that's really where I feel like the money is at. And this is all part of the process. I find this kind of a fun process to just work from home and find t-shirts. And eventually I will get my own designs and I have all these designs uploaded on Etsy. I pay three dollars per design and if I sell one of them I'll usually make eight eight bucks depending on what site I'm on I know on Merch by Amazon I'll probably only make three or four bucks but on Etsy I could make eight bucks that's doubling my money and if it sells ten times then that's 20 xing my three dollars so all right what about dance let's find a micro niche let's take the dance mom autofill that they're giving us so not just a dancer, but a shirt for a mom of a dancer. Because you know, they need shirts too. I always just try to think of my audience and, you know, maybe you're looking around your city and you're seeking kind of what people are wearing. And maybe you find a design doing that as well. Kind of just catered to your audience. I know here in Wisconsin where I live, a lot of hunters, a lot of farmers, a lot of like bikers, so get influenced by those people. Hair spring and bling, it's a dance mom thing. I like to go for ones that are a little more unique, they're not just text. We have to find something that we can add to this. Let's just copy it, I like this design. So what else are people putting on their dancing shirts? You have a ballet dancer here, maybe we could add that. I mean obviously a dancer is going to be the main thing you're going to want to add. But maybe there's some sort of additional graphic we can add. Maybe we could just change the font into something different too. It's like something a little more cursive, a little more creative than what they have. They have the glittery vibe going on, which is all fine and everything, but maybe we want to cater to people who like this more kind of classy looking font. I'm the dance mom of Kaylee, and that's getting super micro niche. I know I saw this funny shirt, it was just like. If you were born on the 4th of May and you have three dogs and you love swimming. <laughs> it's like people get so specific, it's hilarious. But I like to kind of stay in the middle range. So what if we have her add a heartbeat dancer on the same t-shirt? So I could first post that into my master list. And then... I could probably put... Combined with our heartbeat dancing shirt. And that's pretty much how I find most of my designs. So I use the combination of Pinterest, I use a combination of the word generator, and specifically Merch Informer. I know there's also plenty of other ways to do it, but this is just a few of the ways that I found to 
find some winning designs. Hope you guys found this video well. If you like uh, merch content, please subscribe and leave a comment on what you thought. If you think this is a good idea or you think there's maybe a way to improve, I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.